This video was brought to you by artwhat.com. Hey guys, this is Apple Tech coming at you guys with a review on the Arc Hippo 1. Now this one is for the iPhone 4. This one comes in purple and I want to thank Art What for sending this product out for review. Now again, I will be giving this product out to you guys in the coming future. So just make sure to rate this video thumbs up. So now let's take a look around the box of the Arc Hippo 1. Now towards the top of the package, it gives you the Arc What logo. Towards the bottom, it just gives you the information on what device and what color your case is. You got your Arc Hippo 1. On the side right here, it just shows you the dimension of the Arc Hippo. Towards the bottom, you have the barcode. If we flip to the back, you can fill the Arc Hippo. So if you go purchase this at arthippo.com, you can see on how it looks. Right here, you got the max protection. It is a soft material. And also, folks, this case can stand on its own in portrait and landscape mode. If we go to the bottom right here, as you guys can see, it just gives you the same information in the front. Nothing up there on the bottom. This is how I'm going to open it. And on the other side, you get the logo with a little bit more information right there. So now let's take this puppy out of its box. So once I have it settled down, let me just take it out just like that. You just want to flap this open or you can open it from the top. It doesn't matter. Just pull it out and as you guys can see this one comes with a foam. Nothing else in the plastic box. Put it to the side. And as you guys can see this is just a foam covering it. So you can probably keep that for later. Um, I don't know what you would do with it. But as you guys can see, this is the case itself. It kind of looks like an old school phone. I don't know if you guys ever seen those old fat phones. Um, you got your speaker open right here, so you will have no problems listening to music, as well as your mic down there. Now towards the bottom right here, if you guys take a look, it says made in Korea, designed by Arc in California. Pretty nice. Um, in the front, you get a fake iPhone. So let me just take that off. It is pretty hard. Um, to take off just like that it's just a fake iPhone um, a paper so I'm just gonna put that to the side and as you guys can see this is the Arc Hippo 1 very soft material um, this case is good if you drop your phone a lot and if you drop your phone and you have this case on you will have no problems your device will not get um, any damage I dropped this case with my device and I had no damage whatsoever it does have a lip so you can put it on the front and the back of course the back you can also stand it up in portrait just like that when you have your device on it and also in landscape whichever landscape you would want so now let's put this puppy on the iPhone 4. So once you have the Arc Hippo in your hand, you just simply want to grab your iPhone 4, slip it in. It is a tight fit and it kind of pops in like if you're putting a pillow in a pillowcase. So now let's look at some cutouts. You have a cutout for your speaker. Down here you got a cutout for your mic. Now if you guys take a look on the top, you can still use your FaceTime with this case on. So now let's go over some pros and cons about this case. First I'm going to go over some pros. Some pros is that you can drop this case from any height, from anywhere, it doesn't matter if you drop it on concrete, on wood, this case will protect your device 100%. I dropped it many times and my device stayed with no scratches, no scrapes, no nothing. The case took all the impact and the iPhone did not get touched at all. And another pro to this case is that you still got access to your speaker and your mic and your FaceTime up here. Now another pro that I found about this case, and you guys are probably wondering how am I going to use my volume rockers or my sleep button. As you guys can see on the iPhone 4, the sleep button is right up here. So you just want to tap on it. And as you guys can see, it goes through the soft cushion and it turns on my device. Now another thing is the volume. So the volumes are on the side, you just simply tap on it. And as you guys can see, I'm hiring and I'm lowering my volume through the case. So that is not disabled when you have the case on. Now, as I said before, guys, this case can stand itself up. You can either have it in portrait mode, just like that. So if you're watching anything or if you want to use it um, from right here, you can do that. Or you can have it in landscape mode if you're watching a movie or anything. It goes 180 degrees. That means on the other side. 
um, unfortunately it can't stand like this because of this thing right here but that is just a very nice feature on how it can stand itself up just like that now unfortunately I did find some cons to this case as you guys can see if I flip it to the side it does carry some bulk so if you guys are those kind of persons that like your device is nice and slim this case probably won't be for you now another con I came upon is when you flip to the back as you guys can see there is no cutout for your camera so you cannot take photos or record with this case on another thing is there is no slot for your headphones so you would have to take your device out if you want to listen to music or you can just put it on speaker so folks that is much it for my review on the r cable run so my rating for this case would have to be a 7 out of 10 for the fact that this case does give your iPhone 4 or 4s a big bulk it does disable a few features that you may want to use so folks feel free to leave any of your comments questions in the comment section below please like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe up there for more cool reviews like this and before I go I want to thank art what for sending this product out for review this is Apple Tech catch you guys in the next one